With a compassionate heart, Angela Hospice has been caring for patients and families in Southeast Michigan since 1985. But that heart of compassion began beating nearly 11 years before Angela Hospice cared for its first patient, when its mission was first conceived by Sister Mary Giovanni. I was working at Madonna University and teaching nursing at the time and uh, doing clinicals with students at various hospitals. And I was waiting like 11 years for permission to start the hospice. I had previously worked with our sisters in the infirmary, and uh, we just did the things we always do. The holistic care, take care of the sisters, and spiritual needs were obviously always there by virtue of what we're about. So later when I was <clears throat> taking care of the, working with the students and going to the different hospitals, I was just observing that they, at that time, this is, you know, uh, 19, late 70s or so, that they were still taking patients to the end of the hallway, away from the nurse's station, closing the door, and don't go in there, don't bother the patient because he, he, she is dying. And so they'd really, a lot of times, just be there all alone. And plus, uh, the, the pain control seemed to be an issue. And then I thought, well, gosh, at the convent, we would have the sisters uh, stay with the sisters. Others would be in chapel, uh, like a prayer vigil, you know, just praying for a peaceful death for them. After observing that contrast, Sister Giovanni began learning more, not just about pain management, but a new form of care called hospice for those approaching end of life. Returning from a conference presented by the founder of the modern hospice movement, Sister Giovanni came back home to Livonia with a profound vision. When we started the hospice, I, I could never have imagined how it would grow. I, uh, I never would believe we'd have this facility. When, when we first started, that's what I wanted to do because that's all I knew about hospice as I had studied it for so many years before we got permission to, to start the program. It came out of England and that's what they had, hospice inpatient facilities, so that's what I was thinking. Oh, I came home from that conference, I heard Dame Cicely Saunders speak and that's what she had in England, so I thought, well, we have to put up a building, and we have a lot of property here in Livonia, so then we'll just bring all of the dying from all around, you know, the different counties, and we'll take care of them here. And uh, so I got no for starting, and obviously no for the building. So I thought, well, what else can we do? So then, really, um, with that conference, that began the hospice movement here in the United States, and so out east, they, they did start uh, the hospice home care programs. And I thought, oh, that's what we can do. We can just do it out in the home. So I just rearranged some of my thinking and we began uh, taking care of the patients in the home. No, we can't do 24 seven care, but we can help the families as, as much as possible. But it all began with the first patient. We had gotten permission to start October, uh, start our Angela Hospice. Uh, we had our first board meeting October 9th, 1985. October 10th, I walked into the room, uh, our office at Madonna University, and uh, waiting for the phone to ring. And, and of course, it occurs, well, you got permission, but now you let, need to let people know that you have per permission to take care of hospice patients. So. Uh, we did more advertising, but I was out shopping in one of the stores and uh, a lady ahead of me burst into tears because her mother is so sick and dying and she doesn't know what to do and uh, she, she and her husband don't want to put her in a nursing home. And I, if somebody would just show me how to take care of her, I could take care of her at home. And, and I just kind of felt the Holy Spirit, go, go, go. So I just went up and said, you know what, we have our Angela Hospice program right here on, in Livonia. So if you would like, I could come over and visit you. And I'm a nurse, I can show you what to do for your mother. And that was Michaela Basarico. That was our first patient that we took care of in 1985. 
During its first year of service, Angela Hospice cared for a total of 20 people suffering from incurable illnesses. Today, Angela Hospice serves over 2,000 patients each year thanks to the compassionate vision of Sister Mary Giovanni and the caring individuals who have helped to sustain this mission for so many years and for the years to come.